Okay, back at the Hamilton home place. Uh, what we have here is these multi stems of uh, we satch that have never been disturbed before. And these are the easiest to kill. As you can see right now, uh, we're getting out of a drought, hopefully, and we've had some rainfall, but this was barren in here before from the drought. Uh, but these, this is an excellent time to apply the herbicide to these plants because I can get all the way around them. That's the key, is to get around the plant. And to be effective, you know, to get that 97% kill, you got to get in here and you got to do each single one and make sure you get that herbicide all the way around it. And so, and then look here, there's some little ones. But this is called custom ap applicator. That's uh, I'm a custom applicator. I come in here and treat each individual plant. I mean, each plant that's treated, it has to be treated all the way around. And to get that 97% kill, you know, you're gonna, it's well worth it, you know, to come back. And then all these grasses grow. That's what I do this is for the growth of the grasses. Like I say, if you take the moisture away, I mean, give give back the moisture these we sat are taking and the nutrients that will, um, and, the, and the moisture from rain. The grass will grow in here and it will be excellent. Uh, it'll take approximately, oh, let me see, let me get focused here on the, with the camera, I can't. I'm just busy here finding the next one to get, you know. But you got to spray, make sure it gets around it. But this is going to be all beautiful grass. Look, a lot of them little native grasses. I wish I knew the names of them. But see, all that's not going to be disturbed. Now, I also come in and take care of broad leaves like those. There's one right over there. Look, let's go get it. This is a uh, green briar. It looks like he's had a hard time during the drought. Look, you don't have very many leaves, look. But that's easy, you just come in here with that herbicide and spray it right there on the trunk. Get it, just flash it. There's some big ones here. See, I already treated these in here, as you can see it around. Now there's some undergrowth over there. There's a big uh, oak tree. I think it's dead already, but we've got some other brush. That we're going to go in there and clean that all out and when we come back next year it's just going to be all pure grass and dead brush that'll hang out for a couple of years.